Hi guys, welcome back to Factoid City. Capital punishment is slowly being abolished in countries all over the world. However, during the last 100 years or so, most of the countries, including the United States, have had capital punishment. One of the common practices before executing a convict was offering him the pleasure of enjoying a last meal of his choice. While most of the convicts made reasonable last meal requests, some went totally crazy with their requests. However, there are a few convicts who ended up making extremely bizarre and strange requests for their last meals. In today's video, we will be taking a look at 10 of the strangest last meal requests on death row. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon as well so that you can continue watching such amazing videos here on Factoid City when we upload new videos. Let's take a look at the nine strangest last meal requests on death row. Number nine, Victor Harry Figure. Victor Figure was the last person to be executed in the U.S. state of Iowa. He was charged for the murder of a doctor named Edward Bartels. Victor was put to death at the age of 28. He had one of the strangest last meal requests. He requested a single olive that had a pit in it. However, he did not eat that olive. Instead, he had put it in one of the pockets of his suit in a hope that he would be buried with the olive and an olive tree would sprout from his grave as a sign of peace. Number eight, Robert Elton Harris. Robert Elton Harris was executed in 1992 for the murders of two teenage boys in San Diego. He requested a 21 piece bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken, two large Domino's Pizza, ice cream, a bag of jelly beans, a six pack of Pepsi, and a pack of Camel cigarettes. He surely wanted to make the most of his last meal. His final words were, you can be a king or a street sweeper, but everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Number seven, Stephen Michael Jr. Two pounds of bacon, a large four meat pizza, four fried chicken breasts, five chicken fried steaks, two hamburgers with bacon, two drinks each of Mountain Dew, Pepsi, root beer, and sweet tea, two pints of ice cream, a dozen garlic breadsticks with marinara on the side, and fries. This crazy last meal was requested by Stephen Michael Jr., who had been convicted for the capital murder of a young drug dealer and his wife. Number six, Timothy McVeigh. Timothy McVeigh was a terrorist who was executed for committing the deadly Oklahoma City bombing that had claimed the lives of 168 people and injured another 680. He was put to death at the age of 33 in Indiana. His last meal request was just a couple of pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Number five, Ronnie Lee Gardner. Ronnie Lee Gardner was sentenced for murder in 1985. However, he was executed in 2010. While his last meal request was quite reasonable as he only wanted a steak, a lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a 7-Up, he had another smart and strange request. He requested to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating his last meal. Surprisingly, he was granted permission to do so, and he ended up watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy for 11 consecutive hours. Number 4. Philip Workman Philip Ray Workman was probably the only death row inmate who was able to start a sort of a movement due to the strange last meal request. He was convicted in 1982 for the murder of a police officer following a robbery of a Wendy's restaurant in Memphis. He requested a large vegetarian pizza as his last meal. But the strange part was that he did not want the pizza for himself. Instead, he requested it to be given to a homeless person. His request was denied by the prison officials and workmen refused to eat anything. Following his death sentence, as the word of his apparently last good deed spread, people all over Tennessee protested by donating large quantities of vegetarian pizzas to homeless shelters in the state. Number three, Robert Dale Conklin. Robert Dale Conklin faced his death sentence in Georgia in 2005. He will be remembered for two things. The first one is his crime of killing his gay lover with a screwdriver to the ear, and the second one is the fact that he requested and enjoyed one of the most delicious last meals ever. He ordered a filet mignon steak wrapped in bacon, baked potato and sour cream, deveined shrimp sautéed in garlic butter, corn on the cob, chives and real bacon bits, asparagus with hollandaise sauce, 
goat cheese, and cantaloupe. He also enjoyed a vanilla bean ice cream and some iced tea. Number two, Ricky Ray Rector. Ricky Ray Rector was sentenced to death for two counts of murder, and he was put to death in the state of Arkansas at the age of 42. He requested a steak, a fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and pecan pie as his last meal. However, he did not eat the pie and carefully placed it on one side of the tray. He told the corrections officer that he was saving the pie for later. Well, apparently, no one could eat the pie later as it was disposed of after Rector's execution. Number one, James Edward Smith. The strangest last meal request was made by James Edward Smith. He was convicted for the murder that he carried out during an armed robbery. According to his mother, he used to be a loving and kind child until he began practicing black magic, Buddhism, and witchcraft. After his arrest, he had claimed to have been a part of six ritualistic killings as well. Before his execution, James made one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever. He asked for goofer dust, a type of dirt, which is often associated with voodoo rituals. He had explained that he would use the dirt to mark his body so that his spirit would move on and not become a ghost. As you would expect, the authorities denied the request as dirt was not on the list of foods permitted by prison regulations. Instead, he was served up a cup of yogurt as his last meal. With that, we have come to the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Do thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel as well so that you can continue watching such amazing videos regularly. We will see you guys in the next one. Till then, uh, goodbye.